Donated to the School of Languages at the Yemi Federal University of Education, the idea was that of an old student of the institution, Dr. Shion Bosede Osamai, who took up the responsibility to give back to our alma mater. The library, which has a 200 capacity space, will accommodate students from the School of Languages, other undergraduates, lecturers, as well as those carrying out series of researches. According to the donor, Dr. Shion Osamae, the initiative being the seventh, was born out of genuine love she has for her school and also a platform to enhance the development of education sector in the country. I am a product of this college and I am an ambassador of this place. The development of a nation starts in the classroom that's in the classroom. And my choice of choosing to build and donate a library, people do not understand. If we notice what is happening in our society now, there is no much focus on reading. So I know that this library, this structure, will enable our students to have a place to read. It will be like an incubation center that will enable them not just read to pass examinations, but also to have a place where they can develop their thinking ability and also enable them to prepare them for future, enable them to succeed in all of their endeavors. The Minister of Education, Professor Tahi Maman, represented by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Academics, Federal University of Technology, Akure, Professor Taiwo Amos, who lauded the initiative harped on the importance of citing libraries in the premises of an institution, adding that it will further strengthen the horizon of the students. May I encourage the university and its community members to take advantage of the library's resources, participate in its program, and support its continued growth and sustainability. The Acting Deputy Vice-Chancellor at the Yemi Federal University of Education, Dr. Samuel Akintunde, commended the donor for giving back to the school while urging that the facility be properly maintained to serve its purpose. This project is also the first of its kind to formally the commission on this campus after the formal announcement of this institution as a full-fledged university. For this remarkable note, let me say that I am short of words of appreciation to the donor, Dr. Shemuwasa De Oshemoyi. Without missing words, this is a very well thought out initiative. I am commissioning this project in the name of the Father, Amen. Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Commissioning the project, the former provost of the institution, Professor Adeyemido, said it was a wake-up call to other individuals to raise the banner of education across the nation, charging students to take advantage of the library. I've never seen someone who will take his or her money or family money to say we want to go and build something in an institution. And it's not as if these people have money more than others. But it's just a commitment and a feeling. And that's what we should begin to preach to our young people. Others at the event, including the lawmaker representing Undo East and West Federal Constituency, Abiola Oladapo, described the intervention as a welcome development that should be replicated by all stakeholders. The greatest impact you can ever make is um, education. And you know, acquiring knowledge through all this library system is one of the best things you can ever do. So I want to encourage stakeholders to continue to do such projects across the country. It is believed that enhancing education in the country needs the deliberate and combined efforts of all stakeholders and all hands must be on deck to bring this dream into reality. Joy Pius, OSLC News.